So I think that, that nicely closes off the second round table of the working group. And we told you today how far we are in the Ionia Astro transition, as well as on the development of the fallbacks for Yarbor. That's one. Two, we discussed a number of the challenges. And three, in all the panels, you also saw the next steps that we're going to take. So what will we do with these next steps? And I start with Ionia to Euro SDR transition. I still saw the panels struggling with the Esther and ESDR, but the Euro SDR, so practice it in front of the mirror. That's not what we're going to do. Um, but what we will do is to publish two reports uh, on measures for and for risk management and for financial accounting, and that will come in October. So these two reports will come in October. Secondly, we will be in touch with the CCPs to come to some kind of a, and some people call that Big Bang, but you can also nicely say it's a coordinated discounting switch date by hopefully what we hope is the end of the second quarter, so uh, somewhere in June. And our colleagues from the CCP were very really carefully treading in terms of saying that we will do our utmost, but also in, in light of the, uh, I'd say, the broader setting of having a, a, a sector group that can help with that for, for competition purposes. So thank you very much, because I think it, the, your comments that you made were very useful, but I also indeed uh, would like to stimulate you and your colleagues to actually come to a resolution in that regard, because I think that's what the market really needs. And the final element on Ionia Euro SDR are the, uh, public res uh, the, the recommendations that the working group will make on developing and enhancing the liquid Euro SDR uh, market, uh, uh, and we do that before the end of the year. So that's on Euro SDR or Ionia to Euro SDR. And if we talk about Euribor and the fallback, and Jaap already showed it on the, on the screen just now, uh, three main items, uh, all good things come in three. First of all, we will further investigate the coexistence of Andy forward-based and backward-based methodologies or structures, but also in terms of what methodology can we use best for which type of product. Secondly, we will investigate the potential credit spread methodologies. And last but not least, the working group will consult, again, legal options for fallback language for new and legacy contracts regarding Euribor in early 2020. So that's what is coming on Steam on Euribor. And with that, I'm coming to the, to the thank yous. And first, and I'm actually quite proud of that, to be honest, is that I'm very pleased with the ownership and the leadership that is being taken by all the people that work in the working group and all the heads of the subgroups and all the people in there, because those are in the end hundreds and hundreds of people. And to me, that is very inspirational to see that people from and the public and the private sector come together so much to, to establish something new, which I think is tremendous. And I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased and to me, again, it's very inspirational. Secondly, I would like to thank today's speakers at large, but also especially the ECB for hosting the event. And again, making this round table, the second round table, uh, into a big success. So thank you very much, Cornelia, and all of your colleagues. And of course, I would like to thank you, all of you, for participating in this round table. Um, um, and because it will also help us into a number of things. Uh, first of all, and it was mentioned, I think, in the first uh, uh, um, uh, discussion panel we had, uh, what, what do we now need to do next? Well, step one is always create awareness. Create a lot of noise and make a big splash in the water. And I hope that we've done that today. So that's step one. So when you go back to your institution, rattle the doors and the windows, scream, get everybody together to make sure you create awareness in your own organization. And then secondly, of course, then you need to go onto the transition path and see what it means for you and your institution and your institution. So create stock and then act on all these elements as systems and IT and processes and financial accounting and risk management. So then you start to execute. But do not only think on yourself or about yourself, but also think of your stakeholders, which first and foremost include all of our clients. And that brings me to the end and the last message that I repeated many times today, but also in a previous roundtable, because it's important, time is of the essence. We encourage you to create awareness and take action now. Thanks very much.